Hi, talking about my Ronin S gimbal with the A7 III camera. As you can see, I've got a command unit and a focus wheel. I've also have um, communication to start and stop record and take photos or even autofocus with the full press or half press of the record button here. But um, remember to switch on the gimbal first and the camera last. Um, as you see, the command unit will show you the input of the joystick at first. And this green line is basically the control function of the focus motor. Focus motor. I'll show you is attached to this input the arrow pointing um, upwards I think on the lead as you can see it's connected to there as well as the underside um, there of the focus motor you need this strap wrapped around this lens and a fo focus dial, which turns this, it's turned by this focus motor here. To calibrate this, I would normally stick the um, cameras in manual focus. As you can see I'll put it into the middle what you want to do is double click this button here it will turn to the right all the way now once it hits there you need to physically stop the focus motor that will give you an idea of where it is on the scale here. It will turn the other way and then you need to physically stop the focus motor to give you to give the system an idea of the other end of the scale. It's not too accurate as you can see the dot is here even though it's supposed to give you the full side of the scale. I've noticed that this isn't very accurate and you have to gingerly turn it towards the end as it doesn't always get to doesn't always turn accurately so whatever degrees of turn you turn here won't be always met by the degree of focus here. Uh, I think it's a software issue anyway. And you can mark this green section but it doesn't stop the doesn't stop the focus motor so you have to physically go by this scale rather than this scale. I would actually use uh, focus speaking on this and use that as a guide to, to see if it's in focus, especially if you're trying to pull focus from foreground to the background. You need to use this as you can see it doesn't go to the infinity mark because this focus mode so isn't accurate, it won't go to the end stop. It stopped. Uh, so there is definitely a bug in this system. But otherwise, um, it's quite responsive if you turn now. There's hardly any delay between. the focus 
control and the focus output. Uh, but there's definitely inaccuracies between the scaling of this and the scaling on, on the camera itself. It's a fly-by wire focusing, so even though there's no physical um, stops here, there is inaccuracies. Um, hopefully they might actually fix this in, in the firmware later on, but otherwise, uh, yeah, don't rely on it too much. If you are using this focus, I'll actually stick it in focus peak and always have it in this display. Um, there is a focus assist which will zoom in. I wouldn't use that because uh, it will zoom in here. Sometimes you don't want uh, that degree of accuracy. The sad thing is as well is that the um, when you turn off a whole machine say if I want to turn this off and switch it back on uh, this whole calibrated uh, focus wheel is now uncalibrated hence it's red uh, if I go into here manual focus yeah, the scales off again so that's one of the things I don't like about this um, it doesn't have the memory to keep the scale you have to recalibrate it every time you turn it on which isn't too good to neighbor um, it's just a simple enough to calibrate it by double tapping here and stopping the motor reaching the end of these of the scale here. I hope that this video helps you with deciding if you need to buy a focus wheel. Please like and subscribe to my videos and I'll try and do some more Ronanis information videos and possibly some more vlogs and drone videos thanks for watching cheers bye